video is sponsored by the most absolute beautiful journals I have ever seen, Heroes Journal. Check the link down below for free journal pages. Hey Greens, and welcome to Weird Amazon Recommendations, Advent Calendar Edition. For those of you who are not familiar with what a Advent Calendar is, coming from a personal experience, because I'm an Egyptian Green, we didn't really grow up with Advent Calendars. It's basically a countdown kind of toy, where every day up until December 25th, you get a kind of surprise, and they can come anywhere from chocolate form, Legos, and yes, even last year we did a Crayola advent calendar review. If you're interested in that video, I will link it down below. And I'm really curious to know, where do you come from and are advent calendars a thing? Today we're going to be looking specifically at this advent calendar that is, let's look, let's turn it around, Fluffy Slime. I think this one is pretty weird because from my experience, by, by you basically letting me know, is that slime is a very finicky thing that can go wrong in so many ways. For example, when I ordered slime online and it showed up only a couple of weeks later, everything was sticky and goopy and it was so hard to manipulate. And many of you told me it's because these things just deactivate. So let's see. <laughs> I think it's interesting that on the box itself we have Santa Claus holding a ball. I'm guessing it's supposed to be slime, but technically it looks like a black hole. And make no mistake, this is not a cheap kit. It cost me $31. Yes, I spent $31 on an advent calendar that I don't know what to expect from, basically. However, it does have a four-star review, but you and I know sometimes these reviews are just too generous. So we, in the Salt Shaker family, love to bring the salt! <laughs> and for the Amazon ad itself, it is very clear that we are getting approximately 12 slimes. So I'm guessing the different compartments are going to be add-ons, perhaps? We're gonna find all that out. By the way, for those of you new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. I wave sharp pointy things because I love you. This is our love language. <laughs> Click on all notifications while you're there, and don't forget to join me on Twitch if you enjoy live streams and chaos hanging out. I live stream as often as I can. I'm slowly starting to get back into things, so yes, my Twitch is Nerdy Crafter. The link will be down below as well. I really hope to see you there. For those of you who want to say, But Jake, it's too early for Christmas things. Stop. Stop. I know that many Amerigrains like to talk about Christmas after Thanksgiving, but for the rest of the world, we don't celebrate Thanksgiving at the same time as Amerigrains. Just saying. Like, Canadian Thanksgiving is in October, so the next best thing right now is Christmas and Halloween, but that's, that's gone. And not to mention, if you want an advent calendar, it should arrive to your place by December 1st, ideally. So now's the perfect time to make those, you know, extra salty reviews, if, if they deserve it. We are very fair. So let's go ahead and open it in the order that it is intended. So we have number one right here, and as you can see, each one has its own tab. The biggest flaw with the Crayola one is that everything just basically mixed into each other. There wasn't really any security system to keep it in place, so I'm curious if this one's better. And let's go ahead and see number one. Oh, oh. It really is carp, carp, com, carp, compartmentalized. <laughs> I totally forgot the word. And our first slime is this clear pink. Let's go ahead, let's touch it. <laughs> and I'm really wondering if it's gonna just be gross and sticky. What do we have here? What? Hello. Oh no, well goodbye. Okay, maybe it needs to be warmed up a little bit because we are in Canada, it's a little chilly. So I'm gonna warm this up and see if it actually does give us a slime consistency or if this is more of a putty. So far, okay, warming it up seems to help a little bit. Let's keep warming. A few minutes later. So here we are a few minutes later and you can see that it is a little more elasticy. However, I can't get over the idea that the front of the box itself, let's look at that again, specifically says fluffy slime. This is not fluffy. I am not a slime expert. I don't have a mustache or slime earrings. I don't have none of that. So it, it doesn't make me a slime expert. <laughs> but yeah, it's still easy to tear and it's not very slime. It is still a nice consistency. I mean, listen. But it's rather a putty. So pay $30. I kind of, kind of expected fluffy slime. Yeah, from the picture itself, it's hard to tell. I feel like they might all be putty. 
And here we go on day two. Okay, there's no tab for that. Open, there we go, and... Oh, this is really hard to get out. Oh my god, come on! There you go. And we get some bow tie clay inserts. It's quite generous, actually. So that way, if you get bored of your putty, you can basically put it in there and kind of have a texture. This feels good. Oh, that feels good. That extra crunch really levels it up a little bit more. I'm just surprised that it's not sticky and gross. So, okay, so far so good. It's not fluffy slime, but... Let's keep going. By the way, I do have a mini microphone, so I'm really curious to just kind of smush it into the slime and hear the sound. So if you're into that kind of stuff, stay tuned. And let's hear what it sounds like with a microphone. Off to day three, please be fluffy. They really do have this much easier, this is not, you are not fluffy, you are like some kind of gel. I'm going to guess it's the exact same thing as the previous one. Let's hear. Yeah. Same thing. Okay, interestingly, day four is not some kind of insert. Day four is actually another slime. Okay, oh. getting a clear slime for day four it's gonna be the same thing it is pretty clear though I mean look that's impressive exactly the same texture yep I mean this is so misleading I don't understand how we got four stars if it specifically said fluffy slime this is not fluffy it is clear I'm very impressed with that but it is not fluffy fluffy is supposed to look something like this here it is on the screen it's supposed to be basically kind of cloudy and poofy type texture but this is a very much so gel putty texture so yeah Imagine the whole thing is just the exact same texture. Oh, that would be bad. All right, where's day five? Day five is another slime. I have to say that the way they ordered this is just absolutely weird. I would have expected slime, inclusion, slime, inclusion, because at this point we used all of our inclusion on the specific slime, thinking, you know, I'll have one and one to keep me entertained, but no. Absolutely not. We have a clear blue. And the texture for this one, let's, let's have a drum roll. The suspense is killing me. And um, here we are, exactly the same thing. This one seems a little, no, same thing. I thought I was gonna say, hey, this one seems a little softer, but no, it's still putty type. So we got rid of number five over here, and it seems like number six is going to be an inclusion and a pain in the butt to get out again. Oh my god. I know I could technically open it, but I wanna open it as though I am experiencing it like someone who's gonna get it as an advent calendar holy carp come on please <laughs> oh. why why do they do this why is it that the slimes are so easy to come out because they have this little nub thing and then here you, you gotta work for it let's take a sculpting scoopy tool maybe that's what you need oh there it is and all this work for hearts heart sequins and let's go ahead with number seven since it is the same thing and since we're struggling we might as well make it all the way oh come on if we're gonna struggle let's go all the way we ain't about stopping and then starting over again let's get all the difficult parts out of the way first come on. Oh, man. Come on. there you go and this time green hearts that was number seven right yeah i don't see seven anywhere so it's number seven let's go ahead and number eight come on number eight please be fluffy slime be fluffy slime i swear if there's not a single fluffy slime in the entire thing whoever is rating it a four out of five on amazon we need to have a chat because obviously you're not even looking at it you're just gifting it be like yeah this is great huh? i don't know anything about it. i'm just gonna gift it because <laughs> this is the biggest have a bad taste in my mouth because this is probably some of the biggest disappointment yet. So number eight, same thing, clear slime. I'm gonna keep the numbers here because I tend to forget <laughs> which one we went for. I'm not quite sure I understand their logic because sometimes it's two slimes, one inclusion, one slime, one inclusion, three slimes, one inclusion. <laughs> I need a pattern. My brain needs a pattern. And off to number nine. More inclusion. There you go. We get green snowflakes. And number 10 is another slime. Please be fluffy. Please be fluffy. Please. 
So they are clear. Don't make no mistake. It is clear. And still the same putty consistency. Yep. So they need a little bit of warming up. And in case you have the need to say, But Jackie, maybe you bought the wrong one. So you'll see on the ad here, it clearly says fluffy slime. There's Christmas animals, fl fluffy slime too. I have, this was not there when I was there, but it still says fluffy slime. Okay, perfect for girls. I think that is very inappropriate of you to assume that just because it's colorful and pink, don't give me that pink tax kind of thing. It says pull it, squeeze it, let it drop and stretch it. And then we get more pictures of slime. And I'm not sure, I feel like these are just the inclusions, but we can't tell if the slime itself is actually fluffy. And then they have Fluffy Slime 3, same thing. This looks exactly the same as Fluffy Slime 2. This confuses. And then they have Marine Animals. So I'm not sure what's going on here. It's hard to tell anything. Before we go on, let's talk about the most gorgeous journals I have ever seen. And today's sponsor, Hero's Journal. But Jackie, what is Hero's Journal? Ah, I am glad you asked. The Hero's Journal turns your goals into quests. And the way that they are designed is to help you make meaningful progress towards your goals. But you know, goals are kind of boring. We need quests. <laughs> and so these journals focus on positive narrative in terms of productivity rather than shame. Which also goes with the idea of undated holy carp. How many times have I missed an entire year? Because if you skip one date, you're like, I can't go back and have empty pages. So basically, you can quest at your own pace. The art in there is absolutely gorgeous, and it does progress kind of like a slow motion flipbook. So not only are you going through a journey, but the characters in there as well. Right now, the Heroes Journal has two different storylines. There's the Legend of Historia, which is set in a high fantasy setting, and it's inspired by Lord of the Rings. And the other one is the Historia Magic Academy, which is set in a magical boarding school, kind of like Harry Potter. The other thing I noticed is that these pages make beautiful coloring pages. So if you want to take your mind off of something, it's a great way to relax. As someone who has chronic conditions and ADHD, I found myself so motivated to journal in these books because these insightful prompts, as you can see here, like allies, threats, and insights really help guide me into thinking more positively and productively. So what are you waiting for? Check the link down below so you can download and try for free. Yes, you heard for free 71 daily pages, which covers the introduction and a whole first act. And I have to say, these journals feel so premium. Even unboxing them is a whole experience in itself. Thank you, The Heroes Journal, for sponsoring today's video. Off to number 11. And again, we're just gonna, let's just, let's just see all of them at this point and then, and then touch them and see what happens. Actually, no, I wanna, I wanna touch it. And same thing. And number 12. I can't deal with this. Holy car. Zero on 10 for the packaging. Well, no, five on 10 for the packaging because half of them were totally fine. This one is a fine glitter. Ooh, I have this. I have a feeling like this is likely going to ruin the slime just because of how fine it is. But we'll, we'll test it out. You know what? Let's test it out now because this is the first time we're getting something so fine. Make no mistake. You're also pretty fine. And I feel like putting it in a pink one might not show up too well. So let's go ahead and use this yellow one. I don't know how much they want us to put, but if they're giving us equal amount of slime and equal amount of inclusions, it basically means that they're totally okay with us putting the entire thing, right? Don't fight me on this. It's happening. Don't fight me on this. It's happening. It's happening. Oh, it happened. What are you gonna do about it? Hmm? You're gonna get salty? That's exactly the kind of emotions I can respect. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and squish that in. I don't know what kind of reaction I'm expecting, but I guess we will find out. I have a feeling it might just get crumbly. Could be wrong though, but let's keep mixing this. A few minutes later. I have to admit, this is not what I expected, but I'm absolutely happy with it. It is absolutely gorgeous. So I needed it in. The glitter does come out on your fingers though. So if you're going to play with something like that, you have to be extra careful. And it's also not environmentally friendly because if you wash this it's gonna go in the water and then it's just going to go into the drain and then it's gonna go into the water system not very good for the environment so if you're going to do this I highly recommend if you can find environmentally safe glitter and if you do do that I can definitely recommend the good glitter they are my friends over on Instagram not sponsored they're just my friends and they make some really cute glitter but yeah the glitter does work it's cute it elevated the level of cuteness but the way that they actually organize this I want to put some more in here I I want to change my saltiness. 
voila. I seriously would have expected them to put like kind of one and one, but that's not what they're doing and that's just confusing me. But yeah, the inclusions, very appreciated. Let's do some kunchi time. And let's go ahead and add to the blue one. Wait a damn minute. <laughs> No! The cap was still on! You saw nothing! It's in now. So yeah, it just gets crunchy and it feels good. So, yep. And we are at number 13. And of course, it's the exact same thing. 14. Okay, so the next one now is finally another inclusion. Holy carp. Come on. Come on! It's almost like this whole video is gonna be me struggling and you enjoying this. There. Are these purple bunnies? Yep, so we have purple bunny inclusions. Very cute. These would definitely look cute together. I opened it this time. It's right there. And I'm just gonna shove the entire thing in here and we won't crunch it. And here we go. And we have 15. Same thing again. Is this a similar color? Nope. They're all some kind of shade of reddish and pink. We have so many reds and pinks so far. 15. Is 16 an inclusion? No. Can you find 16? It's another slime. It's very inconsistent. I just don't get it. Purple. This is a very nice color. Also not... I don't know if you noticed. Still not fluffy. Okay. 17 should ideally be something interesting because so far we've gotten those chunky type of... Oh! Ooh! This is something different. We're actually getting iridescent flakes. Oh my god. I'm really struggling for this. I'm struggling for your entertainment. So make sure you click on that like button. <laughs> okay, we're serious now, okay? No joking. Number 17. Oh, oh, a fruit fly. Aren't you supposed to be gone? This is not summer anymore. Where did you come from? Hello, um, don't, don't mind me. Where did you, I have not seen it. As I was saying. <laughs> so here are the flakes. And we're also going to add it to our purple because I think these would be absolutely cute together. Yeah, that would be really cute. Again, I'm going to mix them after. Or now. After. Or now. Now. <laughs> I mean, it is the first one that we get of this kind, so we might as well do it now. Oh, that sounds good. Yes. And the fact that they are clear works in their favor. However, this is not what I bought. I was looking forward to the um, fluffy versions. But yeah, look at that. Very cute. So I guess the people who gave it a four star are the ones that saw something like this and they're like, hey, this is cute. Four on five. So they probably had no idea what the difference is. It just looks cute. Let's hear those iridescent flakes. And 18. Where is 18? All right, so 18 is over here. Two inclusions in a row. I do not like this. Oh, oh, balls. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Get your minds out of the gutter. It looks like we are getting some kind of beady ball type inclusion, and they are very festive looking. So this is definitely going to make a nice sound. But again, we're gonna do that at the end because they're, they're not alternating. I'm so annoyed. 19, another inclusion, holy carp. Ooh, we're getting more festive as we're getting closer to the 24th. There. So we have some trashy silver glitter. For those of you who don't know, colors that are extra saturated like this. For me, I like to call them trashy glitter. Don't ask questions because you may not like the answer. <laughs> All right, off to 20, which is another slime. We really only have, oh no, this 20 and 24 are the two last slimes. I think we opened all the inclusions. So we have 23, 22, and 21 that are basically the inclusions. 21, by the way, that's my birthday. I'm a winter solstice baby. All right, two more slimes. They really love their pinks. Holy carp grains. I'm gonna show you a tally of the amount of pinks we got. So this is a super clear light pink. And now we are doing 21. Ooh, that is pretty. So we have little stars. On to 22. Oh, more inclusions. Are these hearts again? Oh, hearts again. Hearts again. Ow. I feel like they really like, you're gonna like hearts and pink. It's not like I didn't get enough pink in my mystery unboxing bags from TikTok in the previous video. Look how many pink cabochons I got. I'm so tired of pink right now. At first I was like, oh my god, pink is so cute. I wouldn't wear it, but it's okay. It's not invasive. And then I'm like, 
And yes, to answer your question, we have more hearts. And that was number 22. Number 23, inclusions. We have three inclusions in a row. Whoever designed, oh, whoever designed this, come here and fight me. And it seems like this one is, <laughs> come on. I'm trying from the side here now. Let's wedge it underneath and push. Oh, and we get some cute little sakura flowers and they're orange. And then the last one, maybe the last one is actually the pièce de résistance, the crème de la crème, the actual fluffy slime that we paid for $31. This is where I'm at right now. Let me know in the comment section below. I'm gonna wait. Let me know if you think this is gonna be fluffy slime or if it's gonna break them hot because all these things they just like to break them hot and make me cry and cry and cry I spend all the money and they break them hot why are these two going together so often hmm? and drum roll <laughs> Can you see the salt? The salt is just flying everywhere around me at this point. It is just mocking me because I bought fluffy slime and they gave us 12 of the exact same slime. What the heck? And so out of the 12 slime that we got, six of them are varying degrees of some kind of pink. So I guess if you like pink, sure. And then the other six are basically two greens, yellow, blue, purple, and a clear. So that's what we got. And for your satisfaction, here's a montage of satisfying crunchy sounds from those slimes. Let me know what you think about this advent calendar fluffy slime edition. Do you think it's worth $31 or does it go in the trees? Personally, I think it's an absolute scam. Is it cute? Absolutely. If it had said clear slime collection, sure, I knew exactly what to expect. But the fact that I paid for something and I didn't receive it, I don't understand the people who gave it four stars on five on Amazon. For shame. Don't be lenient. Make sure the people give you what you paid for. If you want to watch me unbox mystery bags from TikTok viral videos, make sure you check over here. And if you want to watch me make the biggest eraser ever by using 88 blocks of eraser clay, make sure you check here. And yes, it is a Mariah Elizabeth creation. It was quite the adventure. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.